Whoa. Wow. That would not be way too large. Yeah, like yeah. how would oh, you? Yeah. Hang on. Just wait. <laughs> Got your picture? That's a video. Oh, he's gonna video yeah. too. Oh, okay. Yeah, go for it. So again, I'm starting like this. I went down here in the cervical third. Then I'm going to just make sure I don't have an undercut right up in there. Here you go, here you go. First thing, before I get too crazy, I want to make sure that I'm getting some resistance. I'm not getting any resistance at all. Okay, so we're just going to keep modifying. What happens is, as you go in at an angle like this, you're going to end up with a little lip right there versus the depth. So you've got to kind of brush off that little lippy area when you're doing that. There we go. Oh. Now I've got some, now this is just roughed out. I'm not quite done yet. But I've already developed, I'm getting a little resistance and that's all I'm looking for, just a little resistance. Now next thing, I'm gonna widen it. You're gonna widen it so you go from line angle to line angle. So I can make that actually a little bit wider. Gosh, pressure's on me. Mm -hmm. Radical day. <laughs> one try. Just one shot. <laughs> there we go. Line angle, line angle. No undercut. I'm looking at the undercut like this. This is my path of insertion. There shouldn't be a little lip up there that's creating an undercut. Okay, so that's a subtractive. Let's do an additive real quick. All additives are added as chevrons. So all chevrons are additive? All additives are chevrons. Oh, okay. So if, you, if you want to try to do uh, uh, chevrons on subtractive type rests, that's perfectly fine. Okay. Again, these rests are always down here in the cervical third. That's where your enamel is the thickest. It's out of the way for most of the functional. Yeah. Additives are when you don't have enough enamel thickness to do a subtractive. Yes. So the blue is representing composite. Yeah. Got a question for you. Yeah. Are your samples? Okay, path of insertion is this way. A lot of you like to blop wax like that. Too small. Too small. Because remember, we need to get capture up here. Imagine your path of insertion is this way. So why not build your wax up to do that? Most Again, most of you will always lean them over like this, and then you don't have enough capture. Or some of you will do this. You'll forget about your path of insertion. You'll forget about a hygienic emergence out of your gingival sulcus, and you'll do that. Well, now you have an undercut based on your path insertion. Okay? So, coming out of the sulcus, you're, you're equal to your path of insertion. And then, basically, you need about a millimeter width. But, it also has to have that capture capability to it, too. So, let's see how I did. This is where I'll come back with my Hollenbach. <laughs> I'm going to carve that so I don't have an undercut at the gingival. I'm just going to 
Yeah, or, oh boy, there's a oh. smart person. Use your wax carver. Huh. I guess that makes total sense. <laughs> and again, I'm, uh, I'm just being quick and dirty here. <laughs> Use a little nose grease. I don't necessarily want a point, but I need a specific mesial component and a specific distal component. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I'm gonna... Lots of times people will give me carrot tops. What is that? They'll give me a point. They oh. think a chevron's a point. No, it just needs to have a mesial component and a distal component. Because okay. remember, if the partial's not in there, you still have your rest rest seat sitting there. And if it's sharp, you're going to rip up that patient's stump. No, absolutely. You God, these are ugly. <laughs> Dr. Metzler, you said a millimeter width, right? Correct. Okay. Of the um, of, of this component right there. Okay. Like the thickness of it. From the true surface. Yes. Is there a certain width that these will distillate? I guess it's the width. From line, line, line angle to line angle. Why are you so much today? Yeah, this is so helpful. He said, in, he said wax. And I was, are you creating your <laughs> I'm out. Uh, Chevron using that carver? Yep. Okay, yep. so there's no. Because I'm a, I'm a carver. Some of you are waxers, some of you are carvers. I'm a carver. I'm a carver. I'm a carver. Most people are carvers. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a prayer. I pray. I pray. I'm a splotcher. Yeah. I just splotch all over it. Yeah. I look like two. That's pretty ugly, but that's kind of the point. To how it comes. Actually, I still have an undercut there. But hopefully, you'll start to appreciate. Come straight up along the path of insertion because it'll give you the bulk here at the top to create your capture. I'm going to give a little bit of uh, soft tissue protection. If you can, if you got enough thickness and you're going to prepare. Do a subtractive cingulum rest. Okay. Probably do that semi-lunar. Um, try, you know, I would recommend you probably don't try to develop cutting chevrons because they're a pain in the rear end. Semi-lunar is and it dips down in the middle. It's like a little, like, it's like a little smiley face. It's, the, it's like an upside down. Cover? Correct. Oh, okay. well, it's not. No, no, no. It's more like. Well, take a look at my camera. Yeah. There we go. So, we call it a semi-lunar. It's like a half moon. So if you're reducing, it's semi-lunar, but if you're adding, it's okay. always a chevron. Correct. All right. How's it look with Trayvon? I don't know. Okay, semi-lunar is easier to know. Yeah, if you're doing a, a whole chevron. And I always get, um, I get the two terms mixed up, so I try, I just call them additive and subtractive. Do you mind running me through real, just real fast on the other two uh, ones you did earlier? Just for the video, like the how you measured with your finger and stuff, real fast, oh. like a minute or two minutes. To do, you know, to check on the marginal ridge reduction. Yep. Literally, you just hold your finger there. <laughs> All right. You should see a very distinct reduction in that little marginal ridge. Now, if I press R, sure, I can, you know, I can make it disappear. Yeah. Just slightly, kind of hold it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's um, see. Like yes. This you go to the line angle. Correct. Correct. How high? So gingerly, so. Uh, like they don't. Buckle. Maybe don't get s one millimeter minimum. Oh, minimum. Okay. Buckle Correct. level. Yeah. 
Buck will link. I mean, what if, what if, I mean, you could you could build the rest up a little bit further. She was going to ask yeah, how far you decide how a cruise will go. We want to keep it in the uh, cervical third, third? Okay. gingival third. Okay. Which basically means as low as you can. When we talk about gingival middle and occlusal, occlusal means keep it as high as you can. Gingival third means keep keep it as low as you can. Okay. <clears throat> and you want the one. Means we don't. It could be anywhere. Wherever. Don't put it.